Welcome to the 52nd edition of the Montreux Jazz Festival. I am Ana Maria Montero, and on tonight's Big Picture, we sit down with Mathieu Jaton, he's CEO and director of the festival, and with Sebastien Basson, he is CEO and chairman of Accor Hotels. This is the festival's new main sponsor for this year. And together we're going to talk about the music industry, the future, but also how this kind of collaboration with partners helps bring these kinds of festivals to life. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us today on CNN Money Switzerland. It is such a pleasure. Thank you for having Happy us. Happy to be here. Director Mathieu Jaton of the Montreux Jazz Festival, and of course... He's Sebastien. a CEO. He is. <laughs> <laughs> and the CEO, correct? And <laughs> Sebastien Bassam, the CEO of Accor Hotel. Yes. So again, thank you for being with us. Now, I, I love this story. I want to hear how this love affair between Accor and Montreux Jazz came to be. Uh, you start. I'm starting. Uh, as you mentioned, it's a love affair. Uh, I mean, we have, I don't know how to start, but mainly, first of all, that everything in Montreal is based on the hotel business and the passion for welcoming people. I mean, Claude Knopps, the founder of the festival, was a cook, and then he did the hotel business school in Lausanne. Mm -hmm. I did it too. Uh, and the how to welcome people, how to welcome the audience is something very precious and very important for the festival. Mm -hmm. And when we started to have contact with the Accor Hotel Group, uh, then uh, we discovered that all our values from heritage, innovation, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, passion for, for uh, hospitality, there was all those values that bring us together. Uh, and we, we started from that. And then we started to think about different projects that mm -hmm. maybe we can develop mm -hmm. together. And we saw that every project, every brand that the Accor Hotel has uh, could match to the festival. And that was, I mean, that was a dream for me. But from what I understand, it was also a very sort of last minute come together because you just announced that you are one of the main sponsors in June, which is not too far from the beginning of the festival. <laughs> so how did that happen? He showed up at your door in Paris, is this right? He did. He showed up at my door. I knew nothing about jazz. <laughs> I knew a bit of the Montreux Festival. Of course, I knew about it. But he showed what up. What did he say to you? It only took a few he minutes. Said, well, he said, please say yes. I said, yes about what? <laughs> he said, I need a sponsor. You guys have the uh, Fairmont Montreux Palace. You are in the middle of what we've been building for the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. You actually benefit from it. It's time for you to get back. I mean, to give back to me. And I said, well, <laughs> fine, who are you? And he explained to me who he was. He talked about basically uh, anybody, the team, all the people actually working here for two weeks, 2,500 people. Mm -hmm. And I said, tell me who is coming to your festival. And then he asked, Was this important to you to know who was coming? Well, it's, in terms it's of performance essential. or in terms of No, people? in terms of age, in terms of nationality. Ah, demographics. Terms, we're trying to move the hotel business from product-minded to client-minded. Everything I do now is on behalf of clients. Okay. He's doing the same thing on behalf of people to be surprised, to have joy, to enjoy Montreux, to actually have a lot of drink, to actually sleep at 5 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> just to be surprised and for them to come back. I'm doing the exact same thing, except he adds music to my hotel room. I just love it. <laughs> so now it was an easy, easy decision. But you are a supreme businessman. I mean, for you, it also had to make sense, the bottom line. You have probably to be able to make money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, there's nothing with business here. Of course, we, there's money that I guess we need to invest to make sure he has the muscles, he has the staying power. For me here is surprise. What I like about what, I like about what he's doing here is the fact that those musicians on stage every night, at some point, they improvise something because they are emerged with people around them. and they're they, jazz artists. Well, which is good. <laughs> I'm trying to do the same thing with people within the Accor business hotels. Mm -hmm. When I receive you, I need to surprise you. I need to do something which I haven't thought about because I'm seeing you, you're a different person, you're not a number. So his music, what I'm doing every single day, has a lot to do in common. And obviously you, you reflect this. I, I totally agree. I totally agree. And, and especially for, for the audience, but also for the artists. I love to surprise the artist and to bring something special based on, for example, when we did the Quincy 85th birthday, mm -hmm. when bringing like 40 artists coming from It was from like the Godfather Rodwell. of the Montreux Yeah, the Jazz Godfather Festival, right? of Montreux. And, and uh, it's, it's very important that... I mean, Montreux is a bubble of freedom also for the artists. It, that's, they are coming to Montreux and, and they, they are surprised. They are doing things that normally they are not doing because mm -hmm. they are touring all year long. And, and very important also that uh, they are meeting together. They are meeting the audience because actually the music business is going very fast and, and uh, they don't have the time anymore. Uh, so 
staying in Montreux for three nights in the beautiful Fairmont Montreux Palace, which hard is hard to dream. say no. Yeah. It's hard to say no. That place is beautiful. I only have yeah. 220 rooms. I guess he's hosting like 7,000 people. So <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm the numbers are a little off. Room. I think. Yeah. <laughs> where, where are you going to put that? So that you have to make the, the palace bigger. Mm -hmm. I, I'll do everything you ask me to do for two <laughs> weeks a year. That's it. And it's interesting because you are actually one of six main sponsors. So it's not an exclusive deal. For no, you. it's not. I don't want anything which is exclusive. No, I'm serious. Okay. I mean, the more you it's share... It's not a benefit to be exclusive. No, it's just arrogance. I don't need to be exclusive. Uh, as, as long as we have people endorsing similar values, similar ambitions, we'll be there for many years. Let's build it together. We're going to be stronger. That's... I was coming to this, you know, in the, in the press release when they announced your partnership, it was going to be for the coming X amount of years. So what does that look like? What is the future of this partnership? I don't know. I should have never came just today. Like, <laughs> are, you, I, are you really the CEO? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. Well, that's, good, that's a good thing for you. I, we actually make decisions without me endorsing everything, which is a true benefit. No, I, I'm coming here for the first time. And, um, and I know by having been here, we're going to be there next year and probably the year after. There is... There is something here that we, you can't quantify. There is a soul. People are actually talking here with their heart. There is emotions. There is some warmth, generosity. There are smiles. Something which is tough to build. And when you have it, don't ever lose it. You know that what, the, the motto of the Montreux Jazz Festival, and since Claude was alive, it was nothing is impossible. So when, when Sebastian say that, knocking on his door and saying that just for the 20-minute meeting and... and And when I left the hall, the hall and Sebastian said, yes, let's do it. I mean, for me, it was a dream because it was exactly how Montreux is doing things. It's, not, it's a question of passion. It's the question of so in improvisation. So improvisation. We, will see, we will see what the future will be. And we will start to build things mm -hmm. together. Uh, and I'm sure, and, and maybe we, we're not doing that for, for just one, one shot mm -hmm. altogether. So uh, I hope that we will build amazing stories in the future together relationships. I guess I was also thinking of, you know, Accor is also involved in restaurant businesses and all this kind of thing. And Ten maybe thousand. there could be like a Montreux Cafe, you know, Montreux Jazz Festival Cafe, Accor, I don't know. No, no, that's absolutely true. I like also the fact that it gets what this started has been very international for like 20 years, associated themselves with Tokyo, Atlanta, Detroit, many cities in which Accor should be a better participant. Mm -hmm. It's true, we have 10,000 restaurants. Mm -hmm. We can use probably 50 or 100, uh, basically Montreux, cafe, jazz festival. So it's a, it's a beginning. We need to spend more time uh, mm -hmm. together. I'm serious about this. I need to actually be deeper. Oh, well, you seem to get along, so I think. No, 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 which, which <laughs> is fine. But I guess uh, it's, uh, it's a beginning of a new story for Accor where You have to create different experiences for different people in different territories. Forget standard norms. Uh, all of that is in the past. And it's so. also a beginning of a new story for us because, I mean, as Montreux, we're a little baby in front of Accor, which is a tremendous group mm -hmm. with so many hotels and restaurants. So it's also a new, a new, a new perspective for us. So it's uh, mm -hmm. the things that we have to develop. Also, uh, and we, we were talking about the archive, about the content, how we can provide the content to, to, the, to the hotel guests, to the restaurants, how we can create a ex different experience. Everything that we did for the last 52 years, uh, having big archive, a lot of yeah. content, that yeah. I, I will work deeply on uh, with all the team of Accor to, to provide this content and this experience uh, to all the guests of the hotels. And the guests of the festival, I assume. I mean, you know, your artists can also now I benefit from perks from the. <laughs> no, no, we, no, you're absolutely correct. We have a, we have 40, 45 million loyalty members. Mm -hmm. Why don't we actually get access to my loyalty members to festival like his? Yeah. We have a million TV TV screens in every hotel room that we actually put out, put on online. I mean, every single night. Why can't we have a little two minutes on the jazz festival in Montreux? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why not? Why not? Let's be creative. Oh, yeah. And, Please. <laughs> and what about flying those artists in on Air France? I knew you would actually get that. <laughs> like how I did that? <laughs> I've done nothing bad as of yet. I guess we th we're thinking we haven't done anything. I'm not even sure I'm invited to do anything. Uh, but, but nobody's going to stop me at least be audacious, think. And if it makes sense for everyone, yeah, we might do it. But we're not there yet. 
All right, in terms of your uh, business model, we're looking at a budget this year, about 28 million, yeah. and about a quarter of that comes from your sponsors. Yeah, now, a quarter to 30%, yeah. To 30%, okay. Now, has this been an increase over the last, because the, the budget itself has increased in the last 10 years, about yeah. 1 million, right, yeah. since 2008. So. Has sponsorship also increased, or how does it been working Yeah, out? I mean, the, the, the ratio of the festival is uh, that ticket sales are, is about 40%, but in the past it was 50%, uh, because, I mean, there was a big increase of the artistic cost and fee and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and Which we'll talk about later, but, yeah. So, yeah, F&B is 25%, and sponsoring is roughly 30%. Uh, but uh, for me, the most important thing is that... Uh, I hate to talk about sponsoring. I'm only talking about part partnership. Because sponsoring means, okay. I mean, just exchange of money, which is not the DNA of Montreux. Okay. Uh, any single partner of the festival, they, we, we working together to create an added value for the audience and for the artists. It's, it's not a question of having visibility, uh, basic visibility. It's really to create something special. And when we are here on the House of Vinyl, what uh, Accor created, and that's something for me very important because we, we're bringing an experience, a new experience to, mm -hmm. to the public. And at the time the public is living a great experience, mm -hmm. then the, the brand's perspective and the brand uh, uh, recognition for our partners is, is much higher. So of course we're increasing a little bit the numbers since years, uh, but it, sh it should not be uh, just to increase. It should be really a, a, a real partnership. Do you want to say, it looked like you wanted to say something. No, you're not going to talk to me, don't talk to me about money, no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. You know what? It's actually funny, and I should not say that live on TV. I don't even know how much I'm giving him. Okay. I don't, and I think it's beside the point. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it should be a good well, point for well, me. Well, but you can't, <laughs> you, I, I understand that, but you couldn't put on the festival without the partners and without their contribution. Of course not. Yeah. No, of course, so no. It's, it's, it, it's very important. You know, it has to, you yeah. also have to. You need those numbers, so to speak. No, 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 that's for sure. And, and uh, I mean, it's, it's the number, the number uh, important in cash, but also in valorization. I mean, valorization is, is really the most important. It's what kind of value mm -hmm. the, par the partners are bringing to the festival. And this is, I mean, if you take the overall budget, our budget is 28 million. But if we had to, to put all the values that our partners are bringing to the festival, it would be may maybe 10 million more. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, that's for me the most important thing. Let's talk a little bit more about the business of running this kind of uh, this kind of uh, music festival. Now, Accor is no stranger to entertainment. Um, the the purchase of the arena. Yeah, we did with the Paris Accor Arena, which mm -hmm. we've been the naming partner for the last two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. It's been going exceptionally well because they have 260 venues per year, all different, and because it's what we call money cannot buy. So a lot of loyalty members of Accor could access a lot of those concerts, which otherwise it could not have actually access to because it was fully booked. So we give them additional advantage with uh, priority seats. And we actually created a bedroom. So every night at the Accor Arena, you can actually sleep in the arena I with a real bed, with a real bathroom, <laughs> with actually functioning toilets. It works. Really? <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Does that sell out? So they stay after the concert and they are alone in a 25,000 feet seat arena. <laughs> What an idea. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done it myself. <laughs> I was going to ask you, how are the sheets? I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. <laughs> He's the next guest. Uh, well, yeah, that could be something that you can bring. I mean, speaking of client experiences, yeah. uh, uh, maybe this is something that you could bring to the Montreux uh, Jazz Festival. I, I'm hopefully, yes. Or maybe you can build a, a hotel room on the lake. Uh, after the concert, people can just sleep on the yes, lake. Yes, yes. And, uh, that would be cool, right? That would be, uh, that would that would be amazing. Something. Like a big terrace on the lake and until you, you just... I mean, wake up in the morning, you're just in the middle of the lake, that would be funny. But when we were talking about the, the, the welcome fans also from Accor mm -hmm. Arena, uh, this is also exactly what we're trying to do. And that's that's funny because we, we have our two community. We, we have the Moto Jazz Insider community, and that was exactly the same perspective because most of the concert of Montreux are sold out. And we wanted to give to a, a community of fan, uh, uh, a real Montreux fan, the chance to a little buy a ticket earlier or to have advantage or to meet the artist, to, to go to the sound check. Uh, so we just created the uh, the Moto Jazz Insider community. And I think that's when you have the Accor community, Montreal community, we can bring things together. Of course, ours is a little bit smaller than the Accor <laughs> one, uh, but we, we can bring emotion in there. Yeah. <laughs> and how does one become a member of the inside? How do you become an insider? 
you, sus you subscribe on, on uh, an application, which is Moto Jazz Insider, and then you choose if you want to be three months, six months, or one year. Uh, and then you re receive a lot of, uh, I mean, also a lot of storytelling, because for me it's important that a, a lot of uh, people from the audience, uh, they, they say, but what is the new artist of tomorrow? So uh, mm -hmm. every time I'm traveling around the world and meeting an artist, so I'm, I'm spreading out the information and inside the application that they know uh, and they can listen to new artists that we are discovering. Which is part of it. Did you want to add something? No, no, no. I was actually thinking when storytelling and when we met with Mathieu a number of occasions, he said that I was actually asking him, how, does he dis how is he discovering new artists? Where are they? How old are they? Yeah. How does he actually pick and shoot them to be actually here? And I was thinking that out of the 4,500 hotels we have in 100 countries, mm -hmm. how could we team up on the hunt, on the search? Could we actually have those artists play in one of the Echo hotels just to mm -hmm. test them? How do they go live? There's a lot of things we should be going together to expand the optionalities and the numbers of people who actually one day have a chance to be an artist here and a performer. I feel we like started, we started I... already this uh, this year with the talent to warrant, mm -hmm. uh, which is we we selecting 16 artists around the world, really talented. And after the festival in November, we will travel in in uh, various Fairmonts okay. uh, and to to give the chance to new artists to to play in most beautiful hotel and then to make a tour and to film the artist and to give them a chance to exist in, in this music world. I would like to be a fly in the wall during your brainstorming sessions. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll it's really fun. Yeah, we'll get you to IBC. It's not as good as film. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy, come on, man. It's good. <laughs> IBC is no, but I have to say, I have stayed in Ivy's. And, I hope uh, you did. There's yes, 2,500 of them. I stayed in Ivy's. <laughs> yeah. Years Don't ago, that. and yes, yeah, so and it's clean, it's it's good, functioning, it's good, it's yeah. functioning, it's clean, but it's not the Fairmont. <laughs> it's no, not the but it's getting Palace. fun, it's getting funky, trendy. Yes, come back. No, no, it's an interesting brand now. So it seems like there's so much possible synergy between these two brands, it's amazing. Uh, so, synergies is emotion. Whenever he can create, we can create emotion with the same person, that means we have one mm -hmm. because that person is likely to come back to his festival is likely to come back to my hotel brands mm -hmm. because there is a true difficulty on seducing someone. Then you have to convert some sad person to come in here and to buy a ticket or actually to stay in my hotel. Whenever you've done the tough things, which is seducing and basically converting, mm -hmm. please retain them. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't lose sight of them. Make sure they're going to come back for the same reason they enjoyed the first time, but surprise them again. And then word of mouth works, and then you're not depending on Google, Facebook, Amazon, Tencent, Alibaba, because you have a direct relationship with somebody who actually remembers him and myself. Mm -hmm. That's what we're trying to create. Be more in a human touch, less digital. Mm. Just out of the Interesting, box. Interesting, because the trends, many trends are going the opposite. I know, but I'm, I'm fine using digital to create human boundaries. <laughs> Let's not depend from digital tools, digital platforms, mm -hmm. because they've never met you. They're a platform. Mm. He is he's the CEO of a festival. I'm actually managing two seven thousand people in a hotel bedrooms, welcoming you. I have interface with you. You have interface with everybody coming here. Mm -hmm. So different, different business. Not a better business. There's a different one. Just a different one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Can you can you imagine just I mean a crazy idea out of the box? What what is your favorite artist? My favorite artist. You can't make me say that on TV. Yeah, one one. But I'll say I'm a was a big fan of Michael Jackson. Okay, Mike Jackson, Jackson, or maybe Prince. I think Prince because okay. Prince played more. Prince has been here, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're going to Singapore to the beautiful Raffles Hotel, which belongs to the uh, Accor Hotel. Mm -hmm. And when you enter your room, you say, Hello, man, uh, Anna Maria. This is a specific concert just for you because you love Prince. And then you have Prince Montreux 2013 in your room. That would be nice, no? Yes, that would certainly be an out-of-the-box experience, <laughs> for sure. Well, you can have the real prince, I mean, I guess. <laughs> well, no. I have the concerts. The real, the real prince, yes, the real, the real prince. But it's, but it's interesting, speaking of, of, of trends and, and ways in which the industry is going, you mentioned searching for new talent, yeah. which is also part of the Montreux, um, I would say, I mean, part of your values, yeah. right, to yeah. uncover new artists in order to bring in new talent. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. I mean, how are we bringing new talent to, to the festivals? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's really part of the experience and the relationship. We're traveling around the world uh, 
all year long, listened to many, many, many concerts with a lot of bookers. Mm -hmm. uh, and so also it's, it's the experience you, I mean, that was the case with Ragged Bone Man. Uh, I was in Holland, uh, it was two in the morning in a, in a little club, and I listened to this guy and I said, wow, this guy, he's got great voice, mm -hmm. great charisma, great songs. Uh, I really think he's going to be a big artist. And then, I mean, I bet a little bit on him. So I brought him to the festival, to the press conference. And then he's a superstar and I'm very happy with it. But I created a personal relationship with him. So which is, I mean, what, what Montreux is doing is also it's not because we with the artists, we're really talking about music. Uh, we're not talking about business. We're talking about music only. You know, you know how complimentary we are? Yes. When he is awake, I'm asleep. When I'm asleep, he's awake. <laughs> so you work at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm actually in bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. And you're probably sleeping at 10. I'm actually working at 10 a.m. Exactly. So we should actually have one CEO for the combined companies. <laughs> that would be nice. But I can, I can imagine I can imagine that is coming. <laughs> now, let me go back to the artist sure. uh, uh, for just a moment. Um, you know, that is definitely a trend is to bring when you bring in new talent, then I guess that's easier. You know, they, they're looking for the exposure. They're looking to be on a stage in Montreux. But when you look for bigger names, that gets more and more challenging. I mean, they get more and more expensive, don't they? Yeah. And I mean, you can take the angle of money and business and say it's going to be more expensive. It's going to be more difficult. It's going to be impossible to create some project. Well, not uh, impossible, because we know that's Of course. And I'm <laughs> a guy looking always on the, on the empty glass. Uh, and I think that, yes, it is going to be possible. So maybe the, the tools I'm going to use are a little bit different. <laughs> but I, I think at the end, we're all human and, and we're all talking about emotion. So if I can touch the artists, if I can touch the audience, bringing something different, which is the atmosphere of Montreux, we're not a huge open air. We don't have like 50,000 visitors a day, mm -hmm. but we have the quality, we have the, the know-how how to welcome people. And this is really the, the values of Montreux. And we have a history, tremendous history, mm -hmm. the heritage. Also, that's play a big role. And, and we have the archives. So most of the artists, they want to also come to Montreux to be recorded live in Montreux mm -hmm. with the quality that we have. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of things. And of course, the scenery, mm -hmm. a lake, mountains. It's a, sure. I mean, it's a touristic destination, Montreux. You forgot my hotel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry. And the most beautiful hotel yeah. on the planet. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, look at I hear you absolutely I mean I, I hear you and I and I recently heard you say that um, you know you don't want to blow 10 years of your budget on one act or one no. artist you know it's also important no I think it would be wrong uh, I think it, it, it would be a wrong message uh, I'm, I'm a patient guy so I know that's when you two is touring with the Yoshua Tree uh, anniversary, I know it won't be for me at that time because the production is too big. I mean, it will certainly play at the Accor Arena, so then I have the chance to see them. But you'll still see them anyway. Okay. So it's, it's, it's getting complimentary. <laughs> and one final word, we have the same birth year, 1967. Yeah. Oh, Montreux Jazz Festival, Accor, both were born in 1967. And as we discovered, you both became CEOs in 2013. Which is what you told me all year. Yeah. How, long, how long are you going to be lasting as a CEO? <laughs> so I think this is the beginning the of question. a beautiful friendship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a funny story, right? I would say, yes, that is a funny story. That is a funny story. But, um, but anyway, just to, just to wrap it up, I mean, the role of, of live music where the artist is becoming more and more important. So that is something that you have to look at. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for sure, it's, it's, the, it's, it's a, the, the paradigm is different for the artist because... Uh, before that, they were touring to promote an album. Now they have to touring to win their life and to, and, and for the, all the management and all the team, it's becoming bigger and bigger. Uh, but I, I really trust, I mean, there is two separate business. There is the, the business of the very big open airs, what I call the entertainment music business, which is really, I mean, really impressive, like Coachella, Glastonbury, Lollapalooza, all those very big festivals. I'm very impressed with that. Mm -hmm. And there is for me, Montreux is a boutique. Uh, it's not a boutique hotel, but it's a boutique festival uh, where... I mean, the quality, the human relationship, human factor is, is so important. So it's why we, we're so close together. Again, because also I'm coming from the hotel business, but it's, we are doing things at the festival in the same way that hotels are doing. Mm -hmm. And moving forward, will you have any say in uh, who comes to Montreux? Will you make any suggestions? And will you take uh, yeah. them? Oh, no, I hope I will. I mean, I don't know <laughs> enough of his business. He doesn't know enough of mine, which is why I like it that way. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going to be able to say silly things, but I'm sure we can give him that surplus 10% of energy that he doesn't have, or not ambition. Three words, momentum, excellence, leading. He has a momentum. I think we have it as well. 
He has the excellence. We're trying to get there. I think we have it. And we're both leading something we believe in. If you have those three ingredients, you win.